Breaking news right now, the Ventura County Sheriff's Department in pursuit of a stolen car. Yeah, this is along the 101 entering L.A. County now. Desmond Shaw's in Sky Cow with the latest, Des. This is an allegedly stolen vehicle pursuit here, Jeff and Susie, but we are well into L.A. County now at this point in the San Fernando Valley, making our way into Tarzana. Started in Camarillo, and we understand that this vehicle apparently stolen out of a liquor store parking lot, so wondering if it's one of those situations where somebody went to go inside and left the keys in the car, left the engine running, and then they came back and their car was gone. We don't have those details specifically, but certainly worth uh, wondering if that's what started all of this. Uh, looks like it might be... See if we can get the make and model here. I think it's a Subaru, maybe maybe a Subaru WRX. Not very high speeds, as you can see. We haven't heard of any really high speeds uh, coming out of the Camarillo area, and the Ventura County Sheriff's have since uh, set uh, have, have since given this off over to uh, CHP. There's actually talk about possibly using a spike strip on the freeway. We'll see how that works out. Uh, but we are continuing now eastbound on the 101. Uh, making our way through Tarzana, and we will be at the uh, 405 junction shortly. Jeff and Susie. You know, it's not often that we see a spike strip on the freeway, especially at, you know, higher rates of speed. Obviously, right now, not going that fast, not at freeway speeds like you normally see. But, you know, to get a spike strip out there, Jeff and Mike, you probably agree with me that, you know, what they have to throw out, I mean, that takes time. Does. That takes coordination. You have to get ahead of the suspect well enough to know that, you know, they might even be coming past that area. It's very dangerous um, at mm -hmm. that speed, too. And, sure. you know, we've talked about that many times, Susie, about they really typically don't do that at these high speeds, uh, highway speeds, even though he's going a little bit below the posted speed limit, but you know that uh, could cause a, a car to crash, to lose control, and that could hit another car, putting other people in danger. So that was always something that they kind of tended to not do necessarily. Mike, what would you say about that? Uh, yeah, and I would agree, and I would also say that, you know, on a freeway, they've got to be pretty confident that the lane they're going to put them down in is the one that he's going to stay in. So, uh, you know, depending on how long they've been, this, this pursuit's been on the freeway almost exclusively, so uh, maybe that he's been in the same lane for a consistent amount of time, and that makes them feel like they can do it. Uh, Des, it looks like we're entering a construction zone right now. I did hear them uh, mentioning that to the CHP units, that that would happen once we get into the valley here. Yeah, that's right. This has been an ongoing project where they've been rebuilding the entire center divider through L.A. County on this section of the 101. Uh, it started at the 134. It's been working its way west. But this section kind of right in the middle uh, has taken, uh, well, I would say, maybe an inordinate amount of time to get this repaired. So, yeah, they've been out here almost every night. I've, I sometimes hit it myself, uh, depending on where I'm headed, and it's always the left lanes that are shut down for that project. We know that once we get into, uh, I'm wondering if that's where the spike strip might, might have been right there. But um, or that might have just been one of the, the enforcement units sitting there. But uh, no, I think I'm hearing him talking about uh, the spike strip there. But uh, yeah, so he has been in this lane pretty much the whole time, and maybe they were feeling more comfortable with that because this suspect hasn't been making, well, I was just going to say making almost no lane changes, and then all of a sudden they do. Oh, well, look at this. Uh, now getting over to the right-hand shoulder, even signaling. Uh, we'll see what, what happens here. Um, Mike, did you hear anything more about that spike strip? I, I knew that, that that is the place they were going to do it. I have not heard if they confirmed a, a good hit on the spike yet, though. So this looks appears to be an exit. Is this, this is not quite yet to the 405. So this is going to get off on a surface street. Of course, Ventura Boulevard runs parallel to that on the south side. Where is he going now, Des? Yeah, I, we just uh, passed by or we're coming up to Balboa Boulevard here. Uh, so we'll see if, uh, if if they are indeed pulling. It looked like kind of like they wanted to pull mm -hmm. over. It was making its way for the right-hand shoulder, had the blinker on, and then uh, stopped. So uh, we'll just see what all of that means. But, you know, a lot of times uh, we will see law enforcement kind of back off a little bit in construction zones. But maybe because the speeds, you know, in fact, the, the suspect's actually even going the posted speed limit in this construction zone right now, even under that, only about 50 miles an hour. So maybe that's why they feel a little bit more comfortable actually staying on uh, this suspect in the construction zone. Been hearing about uh, chatter with CHP units posted at a, a lot of the different exits, maybe holding back traffic, making sure that no one else uh, gets involved in this, and then, of course, trying to hold some traffic so that they could do that spike strip. Uh, so lots of coordination going on right now. And now getting back to the left side of the mm. freeway. So speed's creeping back up, closer to the speed limit, and we'll see what they do uh, at the 405 right now uh, in this lane. St they stick with this lane, they'll either have the option for the East 101 or the northbound 405.
If you're just joining us here on KCAL News at 10, this is breaking news tonight. The pursuit of a stolen car that started in Camarillo. The car was stolen from a liquor store parking lot in Camarillo, and the Ventura County Sheriff's Department was in pursuit. The CHP has since taken over since it got into L.A. County, and uh, obviously uh, going, like Desmond was saying, at lower rates of speed than we normally see, right, Jeff? I mean, you know, when we cover pursuits on the freeway, we're always talking about how we're so, you know, we're, yeah. we're holding our breath because they're going so fast, weaving in and out of lanes, obviously not a car, not a lot of cars or traffic on the road at this hour, but certainly going at that, you know, maybe about 60 miles is as fast as we've seen. Using that turn signal once yeah. again to indicate that they're going to change a lane, which is uh, not what we usually see when it comes to a police pursuit, although we have uh, from time to time seen somebody uh, that was uh, actually following the rules once the police officer got behind them. But uh, this seems a little odd behavior, I would say, to use the uh, turn signal to, to show that you are changing lanes, which they are, but they're not stopping for CHB in pursuit of the stolen vehicle out of Ventura County. It's kind of interesting, uh, Des, I saw that we went through that uh, construction area of the media in there, and you know when you go through these, especially at night, there's always a few CHP troopers that are kind of mixed in with those uh, construction sites to make sure that people are slowing down and whatnot. I wonder if, if any of those were the, uh, the squad cars that were set to put out the spike strips because they would kind of already be in place and ahead of this, wouldn't they? Uh, yeah, it is. It is worth wondering, and there there are always those enforcement units that are there, like like you said, to make sure everyone is uh, following the rules in the construction zone. So very possible that that unit was uh, already there. I had heard them talking about you know unit 101 at Havenhurst, you know, ready with the spike strips. So. Hmm. Um, it might may know a little bit better than me if they if all of the CHP units carry spike strips. I know that they all are capable of doing pit maneuvers because of that big push bar that they all uh, have on the bumper. But yeah, this is it, it. You know, sometimes we just see suspects driving like maniacs, blowing through stop signs and red lights and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And then other pursuits we see where it's like it's barely even discernible that it's a pursuit other than the the flashing lights behind them because you know they're not even going the speed limit and uh, using their their blinker to switch lanes very bizarre hmm. Mike, have you heard anything about how many people are inside this car? Uh, well, we, we a minute ago mm -hmm. we did, um, you know, see them kind of shine one of their lights into the window there, mm -hmm. getting a look, and we we think that it may be occupied by one woman, uh, a woman driver. Um, and I can tell you, you know, this was stolen out of a liquor store, like we've been reporting, mm -hmm. but we have also been able to hear that um, it happened so quick, and they located the vehicle so quickly that they never even got a chance to take the report from the victim. So, you know, oftentimes we'll see situations where they're able to run the license plate and, okay, this was stolen X amount of days ago. Um, but in this situation, it looks like it all happened kind of at the same time. Something's oh, going on. What's up, Des? That was, uh, yeah, that was definitely a good spike strip because there goes the tire. There goes the uh, left driver's side tire, uh, it looks like. Uh, the, drive, the, the, the left front tire, I should say. Uh, it looks like it has been stripped of the rubber. So let's see if that's going to be enough to uh, bring this one to an end. Uh, again, all the way out of Camarillo, just kind of putting along under the speed limit on this one. Uh, but that spike strip definitely did its work. Uh, we never heard you know, them say, they'll usually say good spike on the radio. But we, <laughs> didn't, we never heard them say that, but very clear that lost at least one tire there. And uh, so, you know, perfect coordination there with CHP. Now off of the roadway, let's see if uh, they're going to uh, give this one up or if they're just going to continue to take this as, as far as this vehicle will go. Oh, they oh, might pit them right here. with a pit maneuver right yeah, here. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's listen in here. Yeah, let's see. Uh, gonna, yeah, oh, spin them right the around. Oh, a horribly placed tree. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they got him, though. <laughs> we'll they try got to get, get around this tree. That is, the, that is the worst placed tree in the history of Los Angeles <laughs> pursuits right there. Uh, so as we get off the freeway here, you see Woodman and, uh, and the L.A. River.